What scares you the most about space? Is it the black holes swallowing entire stars like they never existed? Or maybe the thought of being lost in the cold infinite darkness? What if I told you that there's something even more terrifying? A place where nothing happens at all. A place so empty, so vast, that it defies our very understanding of reality. These are the cosmic voids, regions of space so barren that they stretch for hundreds of millions of light years with barely a whisper of matter. By sheer volume, most of our universe is simply nothing, yet this nothing holds immense power. These voids have a secret influence, subtly shaping the distribution of galaxies and guiding the movement of cosmic matter. And within these voids lies the key to understanding the large-scale structure and evolution of the cosmos. Though they may appear desolate, cosmic voids are some of the most enigmatic and fascinating structures in the universe. Their vastness is beyond comprehension, a scale so immense that language itself falls short. But what if this emptiness isn't just a cosmic coincidence? What if the universe is trying to tell us something in these silent, endless voids? And more importantly, what does this mean for our place in the universe? Everything in our universe is connected. From the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. It's all part of a complex structure that forms the backbone of the cosmos. But this structure isn't continuous. If you zoom out far enough, you see that the universe is mostly made up of empty space with the galaxies connected by vast, nearby, invisible threads of matter. These threads form what scientists call the cosmic web. It's a large-scale pattern of galaxies that, on the surface, looks like it holds everything together. But the real mystery lies in the spaces in between. These are the voids. Massive regions where matter is scarce and galaxies are few and far between. And even more fascinating are the supervoids, which are some of the largest empty spaces in the universe, stretching over hundreds of millions of light years. These are not just random patches of nothing, they are integral to understanding how the universe evolves. To grasp how big these voids are, imagine you're driving across the United States. Normally, you'd pass through cities and towns every few hours. But in a supervoid, you might drive for hundreds of years without seeing a single building. That's how empty these regions are. And that emptiness isn't just measured by distance. The density of galaxies in these voids is so low that in some cases, there are only a few galaxies scattered across an area where you'd normally expect thousands. Cosmic voids represent the most enduring time capsules in the cosmos, remaining largely unchanged over billions of years. Defined by their sparse matter content, these voids provide a pristine and unparalleled environment for studying the universe. Within these vast expanses lie answers to numerous cosmological mysteries. As cosmological laboratories, they offer insights into the fundamental nature of dark matter and dark energy reveal details about the ancient universe and provide crucial information on the formation of galaxies. Thus, our greatest insights into the universe's mysteries may only be uncovered through careful exploration and study of these expansive regions of emptiness. One example of a supervoid is the Eridanus supervoid, which is linked to a strange phenomenon in the cosmic microwave background known as the cold spot. This supervoid spans roughly a billion light years and may help explain why this particular region of the universe is cooler than its surroundings. Scientists think the supervoid's lack of matter could affect the energy of light passing through it, which might explain the temperature drop we observe in the cosmic microwave background. Another massive empty space is the Canis Venatici supervoid, also simply known as the Giant Void. This void stretches over 1.3 billion light-years and is one of the largest known structures in the universe. These supervoids are so massive that they raise questions about how they could have formed in the time the universe has existed. Some researchers believe that the presence of such vast regions may challenge our understanding of how the large-scale structure of the universe developed. 
Supervoids like the Eridanus and Canis fanatici aren't just random gaps in the universe. They formed early in the history of the cosmos, during a time when matter clumped together to form galaxies and stars, leaving these regions nearly empty. Over billions of years, these voids expanded as galaxies drifted away, drawn toward the dense clusters on the outskirts. These processes are still happening today. Supervoids continue to grow as the universe expands. Now, one of the most famous voids is the Boötes Void, but we'll dive into that later in the video, as it's a story worth telling on its own. For now, let's focus on the role supervoids play in helping us understand the very fabric of the universe. Supervoids aren't just empty spaces in the universe. They give us a glimpse into how things work on a grand scale. By studying these huge, mostly empty regions, scientists are learning more about one of the universe's biggest mysteries, dark energy. Scientists have shown that dark energy is the mysterious force driving the universe to expand at an accelerating pace. While we can't see dark energy directly, its effects are evident throughout the cosmos. In supervoids, we can observe this expansion in action. These voids grow larger over time as galaxies drift farther apart, leaving these regions even more desolate. The presence of dark energy is what causes this continued expansion, slowly shaping the universe and deepening the emptiness of these cosmic voids. Supervoids also play a big role in understanding how the universe is structured. Galaxies don't just pop up randomly, they tend to cluster together in patterns, forming what we call the cosmic web. Between these clusters are vast empty spaces. These are the supervoids. By studying the voids, scientists can learn more about how galaxies formed and how they are spread across the universe. But supervoids don't just tell us where things are, they show us where they aren't. That might sound obvious, but it's a big deal for understanding dark matter. Dark matter doesn't emit light or energy, so we can't observe it directly. But its gravitational effects are everywhere. The way dark matter interacts with galaxies helps create the large-scale structure we see today. And supervoids give us clues about how that process unfolded over billions of years. By studying these regions, scientists can trace how dark matter has worked over cosmic time to pull galaxies together into clusters and leave behind the vast empty voids we see today. In essence, supervoids act as cosmic maps, highlighting where dark matter has had the least influence. Looking at these voids also gives us a peek into the future. As the universe continues to expand, supervoids will keep getting bigger pushing galaxies further apart. At some point, galaxies could be so far away from each other that they won't interact anymore, leaving each one in its own isolated bubble of space. That's the direction we're headed as the universe expands faster and faster, driven by dark energy. We can actually observe this expansion by looking at how the light from distant galaxies shifts. The shift known as redshift, happens because as the universe expands, the light waves stretch, making the light appear redder as it travels through space. This process allows scientists to measure how fast the universe is growing. However, there's a puzzle. Our measurements of the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant, don't always agree. Some scientists believe that supervoids could be part of the reason for this discrepancy. As light passes through these vast empty regions, it may be affected in ways we don't fully understand yet. The theory is that supervoids could distort or slow down the light, altering the measurements we take. By studying these voids more closely, scientists hope to uncover whether they are contributing to the differences we see in our measurements and perhaps solve the mystery of why our estimates of the universe's growth rate don't always match up. First of all, this is not an image of the Boötes Void. That's actually Barnard 68, a dark nebula. You'd be surprised how often people get this wrong. The Boötes Void isn't something you can easily see or capture in a stunning photo. 
It's not a cloud of gas, dust, or even a black hole. The Boötes void is far more puzzling. It's a region of space that's almost completely empty, so empty, in fact, that it's been dubbed the Great Nothing. When we talk about empty spaces in the universe, the Boötes void stands out as one of the most mind-boggling. Discovered in 1981 by astronomer Robert Kirshner and his team, the Boötes void is so vast, so empty, that it almost defies understanding. Spanning roughly 330 million light-years in diameter, it's one of the largest known voids in the universe. To give you an idea of just how empty this region is, consider that in most areas of space this size, we would expect to find thousands of galaxies. But in the Boötes void, there are only around 60 scattered across this immense space. It's been described as a cosmic desert. But even deserts have more life than this void has galaxies. For decades, scientists have struggled to explain how something like the Boötes void could exist. How did such an enormous region of space end up almost completely devoid of matter? It's not just its size that's puzzling, but the fact that this void appears almost too empty for its age. The universe is roughly 13.8 billion years old, and galaxy formation began billions of years ago. So, how did an area this vast remain so barren, even as galaxies formed and clustered together in other regions? One of the leading theories about the Boötes void is that it's the result of smaller voids merging over time. Galaxies are constantly moving, driven by gravitational forces, and as they cluster into dense regions, the surrounding areas become more and more empty. Over time, these neighbouring voids could have combined forming one supervoid, the Boötes void. This theory helps explain the strange tube-like arrangement of the galaxies within the void, which may be remnants of the boundaries of the smaller voids that once existed. However, not all scientists agree with this explanation. The Boötes void remains one of the most puzzling features of the universe, and for every theory that emerges, new questions arise. Why is the void spherical? And why are the galaxies that do exist within the void so strangely arranged? Some researchers have suggested that we may need to rethink our understanding of how the universe's large-scale structures formed. Could there be unknown forces at work shaping the voids, forces we don't yet fully understand? Is the Boötes void an anomaly, or could it be the result of a process we have yet to discover? While the Boötes void may be the result of natural cosmic processes, what if it points to something we've never considered? Some theorists have proposed that this void and others like it could be connected to the idea of alternate universes or dimensions. It sounds far-fetched, but when you're dealing with something as bizarre and empty as the Boötes void, you can't help but wonder if there's more going on than meets the eye. One controversial theory suggests that voids like the Boötes might be areas where our universe interacts with other universes. Think about it. The idea of a multiverse, a collection of parallel universes existing side by side, has gained traction in recent years, especially with developments in quantum mechanics and string theory. If these other universes exist, then perhaps the Boötes void is a region where the fabric of our universe is somehow thinner, creating a kind of boundary or buffer zone between us and these other realities. This could explain why the void is so empty. It's not just a gap in our universe, but a connection point to something else entirely. Of course, this idea is purely speculative, and there's no hard evidence to support it. If this void does represent some kind of connection to another universe, it could have huge implications for our understanding of reality itself. Another less dramatic but equally intriguing theory is that the Boötes void could be the result of an ancient event, one we can't see, but that left a lasting mark on this region of space. Some scientists have suggested that a massive gravitational force, possibly from a supermassive black hole or a cluster of dark matter, could have swept through this area early in the universe's history, pulling matter away and leaving behind the void. 
this could explain why the void is so unusually empty and why it appears to have cleared out so thoroughly. But what if there's another possibility that's even more provocative? What if the Boötes void is artificial? What if an advanced civilization, far more technologically advanced than anything we can imagine, had the capability to clear out such a vast region of space? This is where the idea of a Type 3 civilization comes into play. According to the Kardashev scale, a Type 3 civilization would have control over energy on a galactic or even universal scale. It's possible, though entirely speculative, that such a civilization could have the means to manipulate the structure of the universe itself, creating voids like the Boötes void for reasons we can't yet understand. While there's no evidence to support the idea of an artificial void, the sheer size and emptiness of the Boötes void invite questions that challenge our current understanding of the universe. If nothing else, this theory forces us to consider the possibility that there are forces, natural or otherwise, that we have yet to discover. In the end, the Boötes void remains one of the most fascinating cosmic mysteries. Whether it's a natural result of cosmic evolution, a gateway to another universe, or the handiwork of an advanced civilization, the Boötes void challenges everything we think we know about the universe. As our technology improves and our understanding of the cosmos deepens, perhaps one day we'll finally unlock the secrets hidden within this vast, empty space.